Okay, so the next type of projection is the cylindrical projection. If we go to UVs, we will find cylindrical right above planar and spherical. If I go to my options, again, to reset it, we will go to edit, reset settings. Okay, I'm going to apply and I'm going to close. So here's my soda can. And as you can see, this can right here, it's made out of um, three sections. If I go to my outliner, you will notice that I have the body, I have the bottom of the soda can, and then I have the top group. All right, so right now we're gonna concentrate on the body geo. I'm gonna get out of this dual vertical panel view and I'm gonna go to the perspective UV editor. And as you can see, nothing right here has UVs assigned. Okay, I'm selecting all of the different meshes and there are no UVs. So I'm gonna select the body and I'm gonna go to UVs cylindrical. As soon as I do that, notice that Maya has assigned a cylindrical projection. And the cylindrical projection, if I isolate this mesh right here, and let me turn off the grid. Notice that the tool can be closed if we drag one of the red handlebars. So if I bring my UV editor and I zoom in, look what happens when I close my projection. That is because by default, the cylindrical projection only projects a horizontal sweep of 180 degrees. So we're looking at the can from the top and notice that this is 180 degrees of the can. So what we want to do is we want to close that projection by dragging the red handlebars in the middle of the projection tool. If we wanted to rotate the projection, even though this projection is perfect right here, we can always do that by hitting on the small T right here. And if I click on it, Notice that we get our rotation manipulator and our scale and move manipulator. To select the rotation, just click once. I tend to click and then go to undo because sometimes when you click, you may twist it by accident. So just go to edit and undo. Same thing for the scale. If I click on one of the axes, for example, the Y, and I select it, I may start scaling by mistake. So immediately, as soon as you select one of the scale manipulators, go to undo. And now we can select the middle one and we can scale our projection. And the same thing for one of the move manipulators. If I click to select the move tools, I may move it by accident like this. So immediately I'm gonna go to undo. And this is how we can select the rotate, move, and scale gizmo on our projection tool. If I click on the T again, notice that we will get out of the gizmo and we're back to the projection tool. The body of our cylinder now has a cylindrical projection. And what we wanna do is we wanna assign a material with a texture so I'm gonna go to my Hypershade by clicking on this icon right here, or I can also go to Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. And here's the Hypershade. I have installed Mental Ray in my Maya 2016, and therefore the Material Viewer is using an IBL, an image-based lighting, to light my shader ball. Now I'm gonna go to a blend that I've created, which I have assigned in the color a texture. Let me shrink my hypershade, move it to one side. To assign this texture to the body of the soda can, I will select the blend and middle mouse drag it onto the body. And as you can see, the body of the can now has UVs, 
and we've assigned a UV texture and now what I can do I can close my hypershade select the body so we can see the UVs and now I can modify my UVs by scaling them and getting a perfect projection if I change my view to our, uh, one of the side views for example the right view notice that now I can scale let me move my UVs inside of my one-to-one -one coordinate and I can scale this and again scale them up and down to get a perfect square and I can move my UV so I can get one of those squares that middle of my soda can for example the one that says E4 and I can scale this to get a perfect square and once I'm happy with it I can move my UVs inside of the one-to-one -one coordinate again once our UVs have been projected using the cylindrical projection we can modify them and then what we can do if they need editing we can cut the UVs we can rearrange them we can sew the UVs and once we're done with this we can lay them out in the one-to-one -one coordinate and if I bring my hypershade notice that I have a shader let me middle mouse drag it onto the object and as you can see right now let me close the hypershade my UVs do not match the texture so what I would have to do I would select the shelf I can scale it so that it matches my texture and the question is do we have to tweak our UVs to match the texture or should we tweak the texture to match our UVs well that depends totally to you like for example in this case if I tweak my UVs to match my texture right here if I go back to my perspective view turn off the wireframe on shade it you will notice that our texture has zero distortion because our UVs were adapted to the texture of my soda can and this is how we do cylindrical mapping in Maya